medical marijuana was first approved, it was primarily approved for pain management. So is that really the best medication, oddly, for pain management? Well, recent research has shown that uh, medical marijuana has a wide application in medicine. It's been used for thousands of years in medicine. And in the late 20th century, there was the discovery that human beings have natural um, cannabinoid or marijuana receptors in their body, and that the human body produces a natural marijuana-like substance. And it's a huge system. It is. There's an enormous number it, of receptors. It is. It's in right. the brain and central right. nervous system, as well as other tissues, especially related to cancer fighting. Mm -hmm. But we're talking about pain right now, and so it's been found that if we can play on these receptors with uh, medical-grade marijuana, stimulate the receptors that modulate pain, that it can be as effective or nearly as effective as, say, anti-inflammatories and some opiates, which are much, with a much larger um, tolerance. So much lower risk. Yes, less lower risk, risk less and risk lower side effect right. risk, yes. Right. Mm -hmm. So is marijuana and cannabinoids good for all types of pain, or are there certain types of pain that it is optimized for? Well, it's good for cancer pain. It's also good for the neuropathic pain that I spoke about before for neuropathy. Mm -hmm. Um, it can be used in, with both surgical pain. Um, really, it has a wide application among many different types of pain. And then how about, so if I wanted to go do it and I wanted to use it for my neuropathic pain, right. um, do I just go into the pot store and say, I need pain? Like, how do I know what to buy? Do I need a prescription from a doc? Right. Walk me through that. Well, each state has different legislative right. um, uh, laws that go into the prescription of medical marijuana. I know in the state of Maryland what you have to do uh, is get a doctor to dispense it for you uh, and then you receive it from the dispensary or from the qualified pharmacy uh, organization and that's how you get your medical marijuana. I don't know how it is in other states, right. it's different from state to state. Got it. Okay, so well, let's talk about the forms of marijuana. So um, depending on the type of pain, right. do I want to eat gummy bears? <laughs> Do I want to smoke it, vape it, topical? Right. So it comes in many forms. Mm -hmm. um, there is a vapor, and people do vape it. Mm -hmm. There is an edible form. There's also a tincture, which can go under your tongue. And there's edible forms, you know, like there are in recreational marijuana. So they're all different forms. I'm not sure one form has been shown to be better than another, but it's the ratio of the CBD to the THC in the formulation that determines what's best for your type of pain. And certain pain, so the THC is what's the psychoactive element of it. Yes. And CBD, though, is not so psychoactive, That's but right. it does affect the pain. That's right. But you need both to a certain extent. Not always. Order, right. It depends on what your problem is. And it's, it's a very complicated issue, right. and people are trying to tweak the combination, say 60-40, 50-50, as to what would be best for your particular type of problem, whether it's pain or something else. So there I am in pain, and I'm, I'm going to either my, you know, my, my primary care physician, because he's the one that's dealing with me right. on it, or my orthopedist, whoever it is. But those guys are not necessarily pot experts. So who do I go to that can tell me what type? Who's the, is there a specialist, or is there developing a subspecialty in marijuana yes. prescribing? Yes, I think since the laws are evolving in each state, the best thing to do is get online and see if your state has a state-sponsored program or whether uh, there are practitioners within your state, state or city who specialize in using marijuana for these purposes. And if they don't or they're not in my area, can I call? Can I do distance consulting since they're not prescribing to me but just to understand the right type for my need? Yes, you can. You can visit certain websites and you can also call certain numbers that you can mm -hmm. look up on the web that will educate you about the uses of medical marijuana. As far as uh, using medical marijuana from other states, I'm sure there are laws against that. It can't cross state lines. I'm right. looking just for the expertise yes. of how do I know, because I know that my primary care physician yes. is not going to be an expert right. in you know, my knee pain. Yes, right. right. And Right now, there's a huge education program in the state of Maryland where people are going out, the physicians are learning about medical marijuana. They're doing grand rounds at hospitals and hosting events so that doctors in the mainstream will know more about it and hopefully sign up to become uh, medical marijuana dispensers, not dispensers in the sense that they're growing it, but prescribers. Right. 
So is there some certification I should look for or ask that, for, that a doctor would have? Or well, right now is a little wild Well, west. you know, the governments in many states are so eager to get this medical marijuana to the patient because of the opioid epidemic mm -hmm. that the bars are not very high to jump over. I know that in my home state, all you have to do is register, and there's no fee involved. And you can become, if you're a licensed physician, a prescriber of medical marijuana. It says a little dangerous, which means that the patient ask the questions, look for the expertise, but really pay attention as well in terms of watching what it does to you. Right. And is it effective or not? And if it's not working or if you have any kind of weird side effects, right. pause and you might need a different one. Right, but the studies have shown right. that the side effect profile right. from medical marijuana is a lot lower than what we're using now. No question. Yes. And certainly versus the opioids. Yes. All right, pot it is. Thank you, David. You're welcome. If you like what you just saw, do me a favor, share it. The healthcare challenge is really a problem for all of us. And the more we can get this information out and get people taking better care of their health, the healthier we will all be. We have more videos with Dr. Shear as well as his blog, What Your Doctor Isn't Telling You, at our website, bottomlineinc.com.